Saudi Arabia, a country known for its immense wealth and status as the world's largest producer of petroleum, has recently surprised the world with significant developments in agriculture. Located in the heart of the Arabian Peninsula, Saudi Arabia stretches across vast desert landscapes and shares its borders with Jordan, Iraq, Kuwait, Qatar, Bahrain, the United Arab Emirates, Oman, and Yemen. This offers a strategic position at the crossroads of the Middle East. Its location along the Red Sea and the Arabian Gulf also grants it access to important maritime routes, enhancing its significance as a regional powerhouse. While Saudi Arabia has historically relied heavily on importing agricultural products, a remarkable change has taken place within the nation. Despite being home to the largest desert in the world, Saudi Arabia has managed to make strides in agriculture to meet its own needs and export agricultural products to other countries. This progress has stunned nations like the United States with their new project. But what is this project? Let's find out. Ancient Water Reserves The lifeblood of any agricultural endeavor plays a pivotal role in greening the arid lands of Saudi Arabia. Interestingly, beneath the seemingly endless sand dunes lies an invaluable resource, ancient river channels and aquifers. These fossil waters accumulated over thousands of years during periods of more favorable climates and glacial epochs are now being tapped to sustain large-scale farming. Aquifers buried as deep as one kilometer underground provide not only vast reserves of oil but also crucial water sources. During the advent of intensive modern farming, a substantial reservoir of water lay beneath the Saudi desert, measuring a remarkable 120 cubic miles, 500 cubic kilometers in volume, equivalent to the capacity of Lake Erie in the United States. However, recent years have witnessed an alarming trend, with annual extraction of up to 5 cubic miles, 21 cubic kilometers from the underground source to sustain agricultural activities. Unfortunately, the region receives negligible rainfall, rendering replenishment virtually non-existent. A study conducted by the School of Oriental and African Studies in London in 2004 shed light on extraction rates, projecting that the Saudis would consume a minimum of 96 cubic miles, 400 cubic kilometers, of their aquifers by 2008. Disturbingly, experts now estimate that approximately four-fifths of the Saudi fossil water has been depleted, depleting one of the planet's most significant and ancient freshwater resources in one of its most arid and sweltering locations. Central pivot irrigation has been key to a effectively utilizing these resources. Limited water resources in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has implemented advanced irrigation techniques, with central pivot irrigation being a standout method. Developed by farmer Frank Zabak in Colorado, the central pivot method enables efficient water distribution across farmland. This ingenious approach involves circular irrigated fields surrounding a central pivot point, allowing for the precise application of water, fertilizers, chemicals, and herbicides. Compared to traditional flood irrigation, this method significantly reduces water usage and enhances crop yields. Saudi Arabia has been employing central pivot irrigation for over five decades, enabling the cultivation of larger areas of farmland. Central pivot irrigation offers numerous benefits. Firstly, it ensures the uniform application of water across large areas, reducing the need for manual labor during the irrigation process. This addresses the challenges of high labor costs and the inconsistency of farmland. Additionally, the system is highly efficient in water usage, preventing wasteful runoff and reducing water bills for farmers. The semi-automatic nature of central pivot irrigation combined with the lateral movement of sprinklers facilitates easier management of water levels in the the soil compared to traditional methods. With an impressive water application efficiency of nearly 80%, approximately two-thirds of all irrigated areas in Saudi Arabia employ central pivot irrigation, demonstrating its widespread adoption and effectiveness. This irrigation method has played a crucial role in transforming extensive desert regions into intensively irrigated agricultural land. The government's support and incentives for farmers to contribute to the country's food supply have significantly contributed to the expansion of central pivot irrigation in fertile land. Saudi Arabia's agricultural achievements are truly astounding. In 1961, the nation had only 11,400 square kilometers of arable land, constituting just 5% of the country's total land area. However, by 2016, this area had nearly tripled, expanding to an impressive 35,000 square kilometers, an area larger than countries like Belgium and Armenia. 
This transformation involved converting 24,000 square kilometers of desert and infertile land into fertile soil, surpassing the size of countries like Slovenia. Such progress has enabled Saudi Arabia to maximize its limited arable land to produce and even export agricultural products, challenging conventional notions of a desert country's agricultural capabilities, despite concerns over water depletion and the countermeasures required. Saudi Arabia faces the formidable challenge of water depletion in its aquifers due to the country's low rainfall and limited natural replenishment. Its water sources are increasingly at risk of running dry. To mitigate this potential catastrophe and ensure long-term food security, Saudi Arabia has made strategic investments in agricultural land abroad. This proactive approach involves acquiring agricultural land in various African countries. As one of the leading buyers of foreign agricultural land, Saudi Arabia aims to safeguard its food production capabilities and minimize reliance on dwindling water resources. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel. The project of acquiring foreign land is a practical measure, but Saudi Arabia also seeks natural solutions to transform its deserts into fertile agricultural land. One remarkable example is the Alba project in western Saudi Arabia. This initiative stemmed from the recognition that overgrazing by animals leads to desertification, a process where fertile land gradually becomes barren. Historically, the Al-Ala region was home to pastoral nomadic Bedouin tribes who maintained a delicate balance with nature. However, urbanization and modernization forced these tribes to settle in one area, resulting in overgrazing and degradation of once fertile land. In response to this crisis, two Saudi princesses, along with experts from Stanford University and Harvard University, initiated a development project led by permaculturist Neil Speckman and biologist Mona HDI. The project involved constructing three terraces, checked dams, and shallow ditches to harness rainwater and create streams. Additionally, bat houses, pigeon houses, and drought-resistant trees were established to mimic the natural ecosystem. For seven years, the project flourished, transforming the region into a lush savanna. However, a two-year drought and subsequent funding cuts posed significant challenges, leading to setbacks in the project's progress. Despite these obstacles, rain returned in 2018 and 2019, breathing new life into the terraces and dams. Today, the Albita area stands as a testament to the power of effective water management, showcasing the potential to transform deserts into thriving ecosystems and expanding the success of the Alba project. The project highlights the potential to scale up such initiatives across the entire western coast of Saudi Arabia, spanning over 30 million acres or 121,000 square kilometers. This vast region holds immense potential for agricultural transformation. While implementing this vision would undoubtedly require substantial investments of both time and funds, the impact could be staggering. By multiplying Saudi Arabia's agricultural capacity by at least six times, the nation could witness significant increases in its GDP, ranging from 3 to 5 percent. Moreover, with increased rainfall and the revival of once barren soil, large amounts of carbon gases would be trapped, creating a win-win situation for both agricultural productivity and environmental sustainability. This approach addresses challenges and considers future opportunities. Despite the success of center pivot irrigation, Saudi Arabia faces challenges related to water scarcity and the depletion of aquifers due to intensive farming practices. The rapid increase in irrigated land has placed considerable strain on the country's water supply, leading to availability issues. The extraction rates, detailed in a 2004 study from the School of Oriental and African Studies in London, projected substantial depletion of aquifers if extraction continued at the same rate. Efforts have been made to address these challenges and reverse desertification in Saudi Arabia, particularly in regions like Ali Da, where overgrazing and deforestation have caused fertile land to transform into desert. Innovative approaches have been employed, including collaborations with experts from Stanford University and Harvard University. These collaborations led to the implementation of ancient water conservation techniques, such as the construction of rock terraces, check dams, and swales to harvest rainwater. Planting drought-resistant trees has also been part of these efforts, creating the potential for a green landscape that provides foraging opportunities for bees and animals, windbreaks, oil extraction from seeds, charcoal production, and improved soil through nitrogen fixation.
Saudi Arabia's transformation from a desert nation to an agricultural powerhouse is a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. Achieved through innovative irrigation techniques that harness ancient water reserves and explore natural solutions, the country has defied expectations and overcome the limitations of its arid climate. Ongoing efforts to expand agricultural land and ensure sustainable water resources exemplify Saudi Arabia's commitment to long-term food security and environmental sustainability. By embracing green energy and advancing agricultural practices, Saudi Arabia is poised to continue its remarkable journey as an agricultural leader, providing lessons and inspiration to arid regions worldwide. What do you think about this change? Let us know in the comment section below and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.